Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I am going to be showing you a technique that allows you to stamp through stamped images. So I'm going to be starting with the fabulous spectacular adventures. I just love the aviator glasses on this set. They are just so cool. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to add a little bit of anti-static powder. I'm then going to work quite quickly with this. So I'm going to stamp my images using the obsidian black. Now, as this is a pigment ink, it stays wetter for a little bit longer than dye ink. So that means that you are able to heat set it. So I'm just going to take some of the crystal clear embossing powder from Ulta New, pop that over the image and it will stick to that wet ink. And all I'm going to do is heat set that. And this is then gonna give me a really glossy, bold black image. And I just love how these glasses look with that embossing powder on them. So once I've done that, I'm then gonna take a piece of masking paper. So this is from Ulta New, and this is sticky on one side, and you're gonna to want to stamp your image onto the white side and not the pattern part. Once I've done that, um, I'm just going to cut out the inside piece of this stamp. So I'm just cutting around the actual line itself and then just cutting this away with a craft knife. Now I would usually use scissors, but as I am trying to get a really detailed kind of edge to this, I decided that my craft knife was the way to go and it was actually a pretty image, pretty simple image, sorry, to cut out. Once I've done that, I can then cut around the glasses, leaving quite a bit of space around the edges to catch whatever I'm going to be doing next. I'm then going to take those glasses that we heat set and pop this image over the top, making sure that I line up the little lens pieces that we've cut out from this masking paper. So once that's all nicely in place, I can then take the Let's Go coloring stencil and I'm going to be using this image up here. So the one with the little trees just poking up from the top. Once I've done that, I can then pop this into place where I want it to be. Once I'm happy, I am going to add a little bit of tape just so it doesn't wiggle around while I'm ink blending. So I'm going to be using the Dewdrops ink and a large ink blending tool to add in my sky. And I'm kind of adding a little bit more ink around the tops of the trees than at the top of the glasses. So I want a little bit more detail there rather than at the top. Once I'm happy with the amount of ink that I have there, I can remove that. And I'm then going to go to the Let's Go stamp set. So this coordinates with the stencil and I'm going to take the larger set of trees first. I'm going to add those little lens pieces back into place while I'm kind of coloring or stamping the other piece just so I don't go over into the other lens. So first off, I'm going to ink this up using the Firefly ink. And then when I remove this, you can see that I did have a little bit of a white spot at the bottom, but don't worry, we can cover that later on. I'm then going to take the grass field ink and I'm going exactly on the same stamp and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit just to give me a little bit of variation on this back set of trees. Once I've done that again, I am then going to move on to the next one. I do need to remember to remove that little lens piece and then add the other lens piece into place. I do love this masking paper from Altenew. It's the perfect stickiness for not bringing any ink or paper up when you do remove it. I'm going to do exactly the same on this lens over here. So the Firefly first, a little bit of the Grassfield ink, blend that out a little bit with a blending tool and then stamp that directly over the one that you've already stamped for that little bit of variation there. Once I've done that, I can then add the other lens piece in so I can work on the other side. This time I have the smaller row of trees and I'm going to be going in with the Shadow Creek there and just stamping that into place. I'm then going to do exactly the same on the other little lens that we have over here and then that is that one done. I'm then going to use the same stamp again, but this time I'm going to create another row of trees. So I'm kind of going down a little bit than I usually would. So I'm just going to pop that down and stamp that into place. If you do feel that you're going to go over onto the other lens on the glasses, do pop in your little lens piece to mask that off just so you don't get any trees floating around where you don't want them to be. So once that's all done, I can remove all of the masking paper. I'm just going to peel that away gently, 
just to remove that and then look at how cool that image is there. I just love it. So once we have done that, I'm then going to take the coordinating die from the stamp set. I'm just going to pop that into place around the image and then run that through my die cutting machine. I did add a little bit of tape on there just to keep it in place while I did run that through to create this really cool die cut here. So once that's done, I'm then going to move on to my background. So I have that same image of the glasses again, and I have a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of white cardstock. And I'm just going to stamp this randomly and repeatably all over this little piece that we have. So I'm stamping this using the Silverstone ink just to create a really kind of a light gray color. We don't really want this taking over the image that we've created with those beautiful trees in there. So as you can see, it's kind of like a jigsaw. I like to start at one place and then move out from that image just so I don't get really a large kind of white spots in my design. So that's how I work my little jigsaw out. And I do love adding the little pieces around the side just to kind of continue on that design. And then have three little scenes from the stamp set and I'm gonna be stamping those within the glasses. Now for this, I am using the limestone ink. So this is a slightly lighter ink than the silverstone. And I'm just gonna stamp these into random glasses. Um, I kind of don't want the images that are the same next to each other. So I started off with the mountains and trees. I'm then gonna go on to the cool little beach scene with the palm trees. I think this is my favorite. I do love a little bit of tropical design. I think that's because uh, where I live is not very tropical. So I love the look of palm leaves. So once I've added those in, I'm then gonna add the little city, um, city scene into the other glasses that are remaining as well. So it's gonna give you a kind of jumbled up effect, but I do love the effect this gives. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna pop my little glasses into place, but I felt that they were getting a little bit lost on that busy background. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a piece of vellum there just to kind of break it up a little bit and kind of soften it. I'm then gonna take a sentiment from the Let's Go stamp set and I'm gonna heat emboss this again like I did before with the obsidian ink. So I'm just adding a little bit of anti-static powder down there so everything doesn't stick to where I don't want it to. Again, I'm gonna ink up using the obsidian ink, stamp that into place. Then once that's nicely stamped, I can then take the crystal clear embossing powder, pop that on top, knock off any of the excess, and then I'm gonna heat set that from behind. I do find that this is the best way to heat set on vellum. So once I have done that, I can then add my panel onto a card base. This is just four and a quarter by five and a half. I've added the glue tape on and then added that into place. A little bit of foam tape behind the little glasses piece, just to lift those up a little bit. I'll stick those onto the vellum and then I can add the adhesive onto the back of the vellum, the same place that I've added the adhesive on the glasses. So this means it's not gonna be seen. So here is the card complete. I really do hope that you like the card and that you've also enjoyed the video. If you do create a card that was inspired by this, it'd be great if you do share because we'd love to see. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye bye. Hello there crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.